That's why we need to focus on the three hidden costs of guaranteed income in retirement. You see, when it comes to retirement, the number one fear of every retiree out there, more than death, is running out of money. So the industry knows this, and they focus on where they know they need to sell people to get them to come through the doors. And what they sell them is income. And a lot of times, people don't realize what that income costs them in retirement. Because at the end of the day, it's like, do I really need it? But I, you know, you want another thousand dollars a month? Well, sure. How about seven thousand dollars guaranteed a month forever? Sure. And no one thinks about what that costs or how the math actually works. They're just kind of in the back of their mind thinking, I'm safe. I'm not going to fall prey to all the propaganda out there that I'm going to run out of money. So I want to focus on the big three access, <laughs> what it costs, and are you actually making more money by doing this? Can you actually win? So, so let's talk about access. When people promise income forever, Randy, a lot of times this comes with some form of annuity that has an income right. And what they don't realize is once you buy in and turn this thing on, many of these products you can't turn off. And what that means is that they're going to essentially keep paying you forever. And if you come up and say, well, what if I wanted to buy a car? What if I actually wanted to have this huge chunk of money? Maybe I want to go to uh, you know, Florida and do a trip or buy a place. Well, that money's gone now. It's effectively turned into an income stream. You've turned it into a pension. And now you don't have the flexibility possibly to get access to those funds. Access is the big hidden risk that a lot of people don't appreciate when it comes to getting that guaranteed income, you know, income promise that so many people are selling out there because they don't realize, you know, oh, shoot, that whole chunk is gone. Now I gave that to them and now I can't get it back. And what if there's a health issue? There's other things that could come up that could really compromise your retirement by giving up all that access. The next is the cost. Number two, the cost of getting guaranteed income is expensive. They don't do it for free. I promise you that insurance companies have what they call riders. They're like additional features on your card. Do you want the sunroof? Do you want the CD player? When it comes to obviously annuities, do you want the income rider? And that income rider usually char charges roughly across America 1%. So if you start thinking about that over the course of retirement, if I had a million dollar, obviously, you know, guaranteed income annuity, shoot, if I'm retired for 30 years, man, that's a thousand, you know, see one, one percent of a million is 10,000. Wow. Over a decade's a hundred thousand over a retirement is 300,000. I'm paying 300,000 of my dollars to pay myself back my own money. Is that really worth it? Is that peace of mind really worth it? The cost is another huge miss that people don't think about when they fall in love with guaranteed income promises from their financial advisor. And you know, so obviously there's the access, there's the cost, but the third is the return. People are like, well, I can live forever, right? I'll never outlive my money. I'll never outlive my money. That is the big selling point that certain financial agents use when they're selling these products is like, well, you could outlive your money and it won't matter because you'll keep getting paid. And the real irony of this is, do you think insurance companies do this to lose money? Do you think this is like, you know what? Whoever picks this gets us. We're going to give them a great deal and we're going to take a loss on these. We're going to take, hey, Bill, we're going to take a loss on all the income riders this year. Let's just hope nobody uses them. Wrong. Mm -hmm. They know exactly what they're doing. The actuaries are math whizzes. They are basically born in a cubicle doing nothing but Excel for 50 years. They know the numbers. And when it comes to access to your money, here's how almost all income promises work. Most people don't turn them on immediately. They say, hey, buy this income, you know, rider uh, on your annuity. And then when you want to turn it on, it turns on. But as it grows, you get 5% of whatever that number is for the rest of your life, or alternatively, for 20 years. It's on a 20-year AMWARP schedule. So ironically, 5% of 20 is 100%. So you're paying yourself back your own money for a 1% fee. That's really how income riders work, and they usually have very little return baked in. So when you turn that thing on, they say, well, don't worry. If you outlive your money, we'll keep paying. And it's like, dude, you're 75. Like, like, what are we doing? That means we have to get to 20 years out on any product. You have to have it turned on for 20 years to win. This is the opposite of Social Security. Almost every baby boomer turns Social Security on early so that they can get all the benefit out. And some of these income products, if you don't end up using it, 
you lose it. So what if you pass away early in the process? You may not get what's left over. Every product's different. They're all they're all structured differently. But what I want to make sure rings clear, these three issues, obviously access, cost, and what you're getting for your money or return are hidden things that people don't talk about when they're promising income. If a financial advisor is promising you guaranteed income for the rest of your life, they probably don't have any other meaningful services to sell. That is the reality of guaranteed income products. It's a sales tool. It's not a service. It's a shiny object. It's not a service. And that's what's different about what we do at Golden Reserve. We don't ever sell income products. Why? Because they don't really work. They're not worth the cost. At the end of the day, you're going to have a million dollars. Access it how you want and make sure each year you know what's left. And that's what our income tent does. It projects out what you'll have in 25 years based on last year's spending, last year's income, and last year's balances. And as you live your retirement life, you'll say, my money's getting bigger. And if it's getting bigger, you're probably going to spend more. Or if you have a big expenditure, maybe you don't spend as much the next year. But that's how you've lived your whole life. Why do you need to be babysat in your golden years with an income rider? I don't think baby boomers need babysitters. (laughs) 